Hello, I'm Johnny Lana, and I couldn't think of a better location to introduce my shirk-supported research. I am surrounded by architectural self-portraits of Canada that reflect an identity reshaped by multiculturalism and war. This reimagination of the nation is arguably behind the success of transnational artists representing the Lebanese civil wars in Canada. At first glance, their art may be conceived as war art. Any work of art which in some way, shape or form references war, whether directly as a subject, like a battle picture, or as a reflection of the experience of war as it happens in people's daily life, can be defined as war art. But it's not the war that brought this art to the National Gallery. This generation of artists associated with Lebanon, very focused on photography and the photographic document. It also just resonates on terms of how history is narrated, how it's documented, how it's told, how much it can be trusted. But why are artists concerned with history and using archives to compose fictional historical narratives? There was no consensus on what kind of history to record. The Lebanese War was not, there was no official story. So it's no wonder that most of the recording about that particular war was done by artists and it took a form of a fiction. Between fact and fiction, this questioning of archive, memory and history guaranteed these artists a spot in major Canadian institutions. Consider the play Incendie by Wajdi Mawad, who is someone who in a very, very early age, did experience trauma, and then that trauma got transferred into his work as an adult. One of the things that this play does is it shows characters who thought they were Canadian, but never thought much about their heritage, and are forced into this situation of tracing their mother's past. And that whole research, which is what takes them back to Lebanon, suggests something about what it is we consider Canadian. What does it mean to be a country of Lebanon? The whole idea of multiculturalism is something that is nurturing the work of this artist. Here an artist, you will very often say, yes, I am Cree and Irish and French and I have a little Italian. People more and more acknowledge a multiple identity. This Canadian way of dealing with different cultures in one nation might be taken as, a, as an example, as a model of this transnational experience. Transnationalism isn't seeking to erase or get rid of the national but it's seeking to show that it's far more complicated. Complicated because sites like this prove to us that the transnational not only crosses the borders of place, but those of time, in memory and imagination. This art's success, then, belongs to post-war post-identity, which does have a particular bearing on the way we continually reconstruct a notion of Canadian society, what, what kind, kind of nation we are. are.